I Show You Instant presents three main ways by which you can select the area that you want to record. Full screen, by window, and by area. Let's look at full screen. This is useful when you have multiple monitors attached to your Mac, or if you just want to quickly tell I Show You to capture the whole screen. You just move the mouse to the display you wish to record, and left click. The entire display is set as the capture area. You can see here I've selected my odd sized 1600 by 1000 screen. Now note that if you click full screen and you've only got one display, you won't see a selection choice. I show you will just automatically change the selected area to your full display and then flash the green. This is your selected area rectangle. Let's look at by window. In by window mode, the select area tool lets you choose based on windows that are visible on screen. So let me move a couple over so I can show you. Here I've got uh, some activity monitor and something. When I move the mouse, you see the selected area change. As I flip from one to the other, note that if I move outside a window area, say to the desktop background, I can still choose full screen. So to confirm one of those, I just move over and left click. Now in case you're wondering, I show you doesn't follow the window around. This is used to make selection of a window sized area easier, but I show you won't track the window position during recording. Right, let's look at number three by area. Here you can draw any area you like, and this is the mode that gives you the most flexibility. Not only can you draw any area, you can also select from a preset size using the drop down. Uh, and you may notice also that there's a bunch of numbers here, one, two, three, four. You can just press those on the keyboard and that gives you those preset sizes. Or you can simply type in any size you want manually. So I'll type in one, two, three, four, four, three, two. Once you've got a rough size, you can move it by clicking and dragging it around using the mouse. In this mode, you can also use the keyboard to nudge that selection rectangle around the screen. So you can get really accurate. Uh, so here I'm getting the top left corner right using the arrow keys. I'm staring at the uh, magnify view at the same time. And then I can just move the mouse down here and look at my bottom right. And if I hold down command, I can then change the size of it using nudging as well. So I can get it exact really easy. Once I'm happy, I press enter to confirm and I'm done. I can also double check the area that I show you thinks it's going to record from by clicking the show area button and you can see a visible green rectangle on the screen and that's what we're going to capture. And that is select area.